What's up guys, Craig Mack here, Liberty Bell Beekeeper. So I'm up on the roof, I came up to check things out. I had a bit of a rainstorm last night, clouds from this morning, and I got some sun today, but as you can see, I got something happening here. Now, there are bees everywhere. They're all over all these other boxes, all over the air over here. I'm fairly certain that this is not a swarm. Now, the reason I'm, I'm willing to go out on that limb and say that is I've seen swarming behavior and I've seen mating flight behavior. And this, to me, you can see the bees are not anywhere particular. They are all over this wall, all over the place. And I believe this is a mating flight activity. It's been said that when the mating flights happen, they often bring a lot of bees with them from the air. I do have a bit of breeze up here today, and I'm kind of looking around for a mass flying around in the air. With as many colonies as I have, I'll probably see a lot of this, this behavior this week uh, and next week because it should be about the time that my spring splits have been uh, raised to queen. She's emerged and she should be ready to go on her flight. And I'm inclined to believe that that's what this is. I'm looking for, you know, an obvious chase, you know, an obvious... Uh, bowl of bees flying through the air that is going to uh, land somewhere, but these bees seem to all be pretty airborne right at this minute. Now, I could end up with multiple swarms happening from this because, you know, occasionally with those mated uh, or virgin queens, you'll get some cast swarms. I'm kind of thinking that this is a mating flight. So I'm going to just pay attention and keep an eye out and see what we got going. Bees are landing on the ground. They're landing on the walls. They're not really any one place in particular. Um, there has been, you know, mating flights caught on film before. They're difficult to spot because they're pretty intense, they're pretty fast paced, and the queen is not just like sitting still, she's flying and she's being mated while she flies. And I think it's a good possibility that that's what this is. I was kind of hoping the sun would come out. It's supposed to clear a bit. You can see it's a bit patchy and it's a bit breezy as well, which, you know, can disorient a little bit. What I'm waiting for is, is them to land all somewhere and clump up or go back out to the hive. There's bees all over the ground, there's live bees everywhere. I can tell they're being blown around a bit. I'm just kind of peeking here looking to see what I can see where I can see it. It doesn't look like they're congregating in any one particular place. Now they're congregating in many particular places. <laughs> I guess they might have be, this could be a swarm and they're just disoriented from the wind and the sun not being fully out. And there's still quite a bit of activity up here in front of this hive. much of it on the ground 
And I noticed this behavior last year when I, when I was in that queen being mated week. That they would vacate the hive in mass. Uh, and I don't know if that's just to allow her the room to come back and to get in and I'm not quite sure but you can see what's happening here so they're a little bit more clumped up here now I can't see the damn camera brightness up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this doesn't to me look like a swarm. This to me looks like mating flight behavior, if I had a guess. But I'm a little suspect because I did have a swarm land here recently. So, you know, I guess it could very well be a swarm. But I'm inclined to believe that this is not a swarm and that this is potential mating flight. It's either that or I got a boatload of queens just mixing this bunch. I'm going to just take a peek. See if I can't spot any. Spot any, you know, obvious clusters, you know, a couple here and there, but mainly just a lot of bees in the air. I am seeing a lot of drones uh, throughout. Throughout all these bees. I don't have any gear with me and they might be this might be a swarm there might be some swarming happening here because they're definitely clumped up much more than they were and again I think that the wind and the in and out Sun is playing a role because some of these smaller groups are look like they're they're out and about walking around and then they're not finding what they were looking for and they're breaking up and they're and they're all coming together so i think i'm going to go grab my jacket and a couple queen clips and we'll try, try to see if we can't nose around in this maybe grab my son all right so we're back i enlisted the help of logan got you yeah. <laughs> got it out sting number two from a boy what So he just got stung and now I'm looking for queens. I kind of thought this might have been a mating flight. This could be a cast swarm because I have a colony, that box right over there. I know had queen cells, it swarmed. I collected the swarms, I never went through that box. So I could be looking at multiple queens here. Aha, There's one right there. Beauty of a queen, huh? Beauty of a queen. So I'm going to try to get her in a clip. And I got her in the clip. Got lucky there. So I'm going to poke around through this and see what else we got. She looks to be a mated queen. She doesn't look to be a virgin queen. You can tell the difference by her abdomen, the size of it. If you look at it, if you can spot her and look at her segments past the bottom of her wings, you know, she might be, she might be virgin, but usually you'll see three segments 
past the bottom of her wings. So I'm thinking that that is a mated queen. Because she looks like she's got a decent, decent size abdomen. But we're going to continue to look as we try to work our way through these bees. Well, the venom sack being gone will eliminate the pain. Well, it'll keep the pain from being prolonged. That was my fault. I was kind of like crawling on the ground with my hands. Yeah, that's the way it happens. Like a splinter. Where it's where it's it at? It's in my thumb. It doesn't do bad. It doesn't actually. It it hurts like a splinter. If you get that venom sack off quickly. That the barbs don't pump any more venom in, mm -hmm. so that lessens the severity of the sting. The longer it's in there, the longer it has to fill you fill you up full of the venom. Okay, so let us try to get a box, swarm box, or just any box. There's ones over here. Should I grab one of those? Uh, I think I want to grab another box, Logue. Something with a better smell. So let's, uh, that one, look, if you're looking that way, the one on the right, the taller of the two, I'm pretty sure that that's empty. So maybe we'll take a look at that. Right here on this pallet, the one you just walked past. Yes. I'm hearing some piping, or what sounds kind of like piping, but I don't know that that's a queen sometimes. Yeah, open that up. You got a, t a hive tool on you? Here. Take that off. See if it's full of honey. See if that super's full of honey. Let's see. Yeah, it looks to be. She was real, real blonde, real caramely colored. Sweet, first queen nab, right on. Okay, so let's hang on to her for a minute. Like I said, I wanna wanted to keep an eye out for another one, but I wanted to get her marked. That was the whole idea behind this. All right, so. What I thought might have been a mating flight still could be, and the bees got disoriented because of the wind, uh, is a swarm. Obviously, they've all grouped together, unlike what you saw earlier in the video. There's definite movement towards the box. The queen has been released into the box. I was going to mark her, and I was going to cage her, but I let her go. I wanted them to just kind of do their thing, and kind of see what happens here um, and we can open them up again later but yeah we got definite marching can you see, can you see that Logan the movement towards the front of the box yeah that's a telltale sign that okay they're going they're gonna move in uh, they might cover the box again that I think has to do with them transferring their scent but we'll keep an eye on it and see what it does hopefully they settle down settle in